Hey my loves, how are you all doing? Today's video is going to be a super interesting one because I'm going to be showing you all three Christmas worthy hairstyles. Yes, three. You can choose either one of them to make on your princesses this festive season. So if that sounds like what you're interested in, why not keep on watching and without further ado, let us dive right in. The first hairstyle on our list is a butterfly for lock and these are the things I'll be using for this style. I have my rubber band, shine and jam and I have my kinky, afro kinky. I have these two options, okay, but I love this one better because it is softer. But unfortunately, I got to use into the second one because the first one wasn't enough. So to begin this style, I'll first of all hydrate her hair with this water and conditioner mist spray. After that, I will start sectioning. For that, that I'll be patting in a curved way, not a specific way actually. I'm not going for triangle, whatever, square block, no. I am just patting curve, you know, the popular type of pattern okay and i will tie that up with the rubber band i showed you guys earlier next i'll pat out some quantity of the kinky extension this is the size i'll be using and this method i'm showing you guys now is the first method there are two methods to this style this method i will just you know put the kinky on it wrap it like twice and start braiding i'll braid to an extent probably to the length of her hair and that is because her hair is short but if your child's hair is long just braid to an extent okay nothing much and once you're done braiding was once i finished braiding i will then bend over the length of the kinky and start wrapping okay i will start wrapping and um giving some bumpy some bumpy <laughs> look on it i don't want it to be smooth so we're gonna be giving that whole butterfly effect some bumpy stages and all that yeah i'll just keep on wrapping once i exhaust my kinky i'll go in again add more kinky keep on wrapping till i get to my desired length don't worry i know you guys are not getting this one clearly you're gonna see more of it later okay i'm gonna explain better later but yeah, I'll just wrap till I get to my desired length. And once I get to that length, I'll bend it over and start wrapping around again. This time, as if I'm going back towards, you know, the root of the hair that makes sense. And then I will wrap it between my thumb. So this next one is the second method to this style, okay? For this one, after sectioning out the quantity of hair that I want, I'll, you know, slick it down with shine and jam, obviously comb it out and then tie with my rubber band what i'm doing here is i'm using crochet and i started that underneath the rubber band and what thing you should notice is you make one side of the kinky longer than one side okay after passing that underneath the the hair i will start braiding to an extent okay once i get to my desired length i will then bend it like this that is why it is important to make one side of the kinky after passing passing it underneath the hair longer so that you can bend the longer part like this and start wrapping and while wrapping make sure to create that bumpy illusion on it we don't want it smooth at all i mean this is called butterfly forelock so we don't want it smooth at all make sure to always you know give that bumpy effect and i'm using my fingernails for this if you look where you will see how i'm doing this with my fingernails yeah like that <laughs> so i will just keep on um, wrapping till i get to my desired length and then i'll bend it over start wrapping again so it doesn't unravel that's the whole purpose of this bending over and wrapping again so it doesn't unravel and here we go voila this is the two methods i use for this style but i kind of prefer the second method because i felt like it will stick longer because of the <laughs> the rubber band the rubber band after all we inserted the crochet needle underneath the rubber band so the rubber band will hold it down so it doesn't slip off being the fact that her hair is not long the first method would you know might not last as much but as long as we braided it it will still last i don't know just choose the one you prefer most okay 
choose the one you prefer most and i'll just continue with the, the with the method you know of wrapping that i've been doing nothing smooth at all we're not going for smooth effect <laughs> yeah just keep on watching so a quick one before you start wondering why adobe's hair became shorter this hairstyle it was made about a year ago okay and you can see that her hairline <laughs> Her hairline, her hairline was just suffering it. Now her hairline has grown back. Now her hair is longer, and yeah, yeah. I just want to put this out so nobody will come for me. Nobody will ask me in the comment section. Yeah, this style is from about a year ago. So this is the last one, and um, just the same, same old, same old. Uh, I, I, I'm using crochet metal for this. Just watch this. I think I've explained enough. <laughs> just keep on watching. And by the way, if you got to this point, kindly give me a thumbs up. Yeah. So this one, if you notice, eh, I did not braid before wrapping. That is because the hair, the quantity of hair here is very, is too chunky. Okay. I couldn't cornrow being, uh, sorry, I couldn't braid. I mean, her hair is too short. And also the quantity of hair is too large. It's just too much. So there was no way I could braid that. And yeah, just keep on wrapping 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 and uh, <laughs> more wrapping more wrapping and voila that is it guys this hair took no time at all i was literally done before i know it i was even shocked that it, it took that little time okay and i went in with my scissors trying to trim and also i went in with this butterfly uh accessory just to beautify it i mean it's called butterfly for look we have to make everything butterfly butterfly yeah uh more accessory more accessory i started this way which i later took down styled another way and overall this hairstyle looks so amazing it looks so beautiful and adobe i laid down her edges and guys look at my baby girl see how beautiful this style looks see one thing about this style is you can if you're scared of this um accessory we added you can always take it off before your child goes to bed when she wakes up put it back on i mean we're in festive season there is no need for you to say you're not adding those colorful accessories they're not going to square anymore so add accessories make them beautiful and they always love those things go out there look for accessories get them and beautify your daughter's hair will you be going for this style or will you be going for the next style i'll be showing you just keep on watching to see what the style looks like but before that here is something for younger babies if your child is about a year old and two years you might want her forelock shorter okay and this is the best alternative see how short this is and yet very beautiful exceptionally beautiful will you be trying this out let me know in the comment section so moving on to the next style on our list the second christmas hairstyle idea this is also a very easy one first i am hydrating her hair after that i am patting out this line as you guys can see already you know um put the down or the last lines into rubber band and for this next line i'm also using rubber bands as well just pat in a block form okay nothing serious at all so this is the last line i will also do the same put into rubber band pat out um yeah pat out clean out the lines and then put into rubber bands and guys this is what it looks like this is the way i sectioned her hair not difficult at all and in total i think i have about 18 hair yeah 18 strands of hair i don't know how to say that so i'll be using brazilian for this style okay but this is a different method entirely for that i'll first of all unravel the brazilian wool i'm using my hand you can use anything you have you can have someone help you on my end yeah that's the length of the brazilian wool that i'm working with and after that i went ahead to start combing out guys yeah that is the whole exceptionality with this time <laughs> so i'm combing out or brushing out with a brush yeah I will brush out make sure that there is no um blunt end at all that is the whole reason for brushing out we don't want any blunt end we want it to look you know you know you know <laughs> just like what is looking now so everything can be you know put together and we're gonna start off the style for that we're using a crochet needle i'll pick up some strands of the brazilian wool pass it underneath the crochet 
um, the, the rubber band, whatever, and uh, put some quantity on top and start braiding. Don't worry, don't worry. I know this is quite fast. The next one, you will understand better. I'll braid to an extent, you know, I will not braid out completely. Okay, I will not braid that completely, but I will braid close to completely. Doesn't make any sense. And then I'll bend it over and start wrapping round. Yeah, it's easy, right? <laughs> also, I am done wrapping round. See, this is the reason why I comb, I brush out the end so that while wrapping, everything can blend in well. So this next one, let me explain. I pass my crochet needle underneath her hair and I put some strands of the, um, the extension onto it and pass it out. And this is what we have. I'll take more quantity of the Brazilian wool, put it on top and start braiding. Okay, whenever I feel like I need more extension, I'll add. Just like now, after braiding out her hair length, I will add in more extensions, you know, so the the size can um, can be equal, okay? So the damp part will look um, very chunky, and once we pass her hair length, it will start thinning out. No, don't want that. So I'll just keep on braiding, 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 till I get to my desired length. Okay, I'm using the previous one as a reference and uh, I'll bend it over and start wrapping it backwards. Yeah, yeah. You see the styles I'm showing you all? You see how easy they are? That takes no time at all. Anyone can do this literally. You don't need to know how to control for you to do this style or even the first one. You don't need that at all. Once you can handle any extension, once you can touch a stage you can do this style okay so we're just gonna continue like that like that like that did i mention that after wrapping around you will use a ribbon to hold it down and that is because this is a child as a is an adult you wouldn't even need a ribbon because i mean the ends are blending in there's no blood ends at all but because it's a child you know how kids can be and how rough they can play <laughs> so after wrapping round i will go ahead to tie with a rubber band and also to add more colors that is another reason for using rubber bands as well to add colors from the root like while i was tying the roots of her hair like sectioning her hair i use black rubber bands we don't want the colors but at the end after wrapping around i use colorful rubber bands does that make any sense yeah so just keep on watching i will leave you guys to it <laughs> we are done so i went in to oil her scalp which is very essential and i am kind of trimming it out even though there's nothing much to trim out then started laying the her edges i also you know styled it you know pack just one bone and left some down just like this and it looks so good it looks so pretty guys see my baby girl now see my baby girl now see how good this hairstyle looks on her will you be trying this out if you will let me know in the comment section let me know the one you would try out on your little one this first season anyways just keep on watching watch till the end before you make a choice okay so here comes the last hairstyle for this video and for these i'm just gonna start by moisturizing her hair with the leave-in conditioner and this hairstyle is a very quick one this particular one in fact all hairstyles that i've showed you guys so far are all easy can you beat that <laughs> anywho after applying my leave-in conditioner i started brushing out her hair now it's time for sectioning for that i'm gonna part a straight line from ear to ear okay after that i'll put uh, the side i'm not working with into a bone which is the back i'll work with the front first and for that i'll part a line here 
<laughs> okay so you can get um easy pattern or whatever just pat six lines at the front and then start working with the first one does that make any sense so this is the first one and uh, i will control i will start control it these are chunky lines though that is why i said to get to the actual size of this um uh, this first side i'm working with you have to pat um six lines at the front six lines six equal lines okay so you get to the right size so i'll just put that into a corn row and after i'm done with this the second line i would repeat the same also put into a corn row so just keep on watching to see what i'm talking about <music> So after I'm done with these two corn rows, I will repeat the same thing on the other side, leaving two, two pattern in the middle, okay? Remember I talked about pattern six equal lines and we'll be leaving two of those lines in the middle. We'll just corn row two um, on the side, on each side and leave the two in the middle. So for these two in the middle, we're going to be doing a different style entirely, okay? I'll be using elastic bands for it, those colorful elastic bands. So... I'm just going to start, you know, doing it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to tie with the rubber band, pat out um, a line, and do the same on the other side. This is going to be a crisscross rubber band style in the middle. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much it. So I'm using one color on one side and um, one color of the rubber band on one side and one color of the rubber band on the other side. So I'm going to take the pink one to this side. That is the whole crisscross illusion. I'm going to take the pink one to the blue one and I will, for this side, I will take the blue one to the pink one. I'll just continue like that, like that. Nothing spectacular here. Okay? Okay. So just keep on watching. So the right way to get equal lines for this front part is before you start, just pat a straight line in the middle okay after patting the ear to ear pattern for the front you're going to pat a straight line in the middle that way after that straight line in the middle you pat three lines on one side and three lines on the other side and after coloring two of the three lines on one side you can row two of the three lines on the other side and you'll be left with one line each for the middle at the middle making two lines i know i know i know i'm speaking jaguar <laughs> but i know you shall get me though so yeah we are pretty much i am pretty much done with the crisscross you guys saw what i did there is nothing tricky here and after that i'll con i'll braid it out rather and see see how short my daughter's hair is see if you have if your daughter's hair is longer you enjoy this style trust me well we're gonna make do with what we have and for that i'm gonna part a line here okay i'm gonna part a line here slick out the line you know and i also went into you know apply a little bit conditioner to her hair just to soften it and also to for easy brushing so everything can lay down well for easy brushing okay i will just you know massage that in combat her hair brush in everything just to make sure that it's you know is a 4c hair this is a very <laughs> thick hair texture trust me and after that i'll tie that up with a rubber band adding the ends at the front to it so guys this is the style of this hairstyle these ponytails it comes in different colors and different shades <laughs> <laughs> even in locks yes guys and it's so beautiful but the beauty of this ponytail is you can make it yourself i have a video a well detailed video on this channel i will link it up in the you know in the cast and also in the description box so you can go make yours yourself although it is also sold on colors and kids but we are done for the year we have run it up for the year so there we have no more ponytails left to be sold so you can make yours yourself and see how easy it is to install you saw me installing that 
pretty much easy and disclaimer the quantity you are seeing in this video that this one currently installed on adobe's hair is you know starters that is one of the ones that i experimented on so the quantity wasn't much but now the quantity i sell you know the ponies now are much bigger than this anywho i also installed this one as well you can just make this to your preference okay use the base of your preference however way you want it or better still if you want to order from colors underscore n underscore kids you can wait till january by then we would be back in business and guys look at my baby girl and the full lock was not left out the locks was so beautiful as well but unfortunately the locks are no longer being sold on colors and kids you can make yours okay <laughs> anywho these are the three hairstyles that i am recommending for you my mamas to choose from to make on your princesses let me know in the comment section which other styles will you be making on your girl is it number one number two or number three which of this hairstyle will you be trying out this festive season on your princesses do let me know and if you've watched this point you are the real mvp do give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and until next time see you in my video bye bye